boom welcome back ladies and gentlemen to a new gta 5 live stream we are vibing out to the only bit of gta music that we're actually allowed to play on stream which is the official gta music uh, which i'm very excited about show let's have a look at this Oh, comment, share, channel. Go to channel. It should be live. Are we not live? Hmm. Give us two tickens. Two tickens to check something out. Boom, boom, boom. We should be live. We should be live. There we go. We are live. I knew we would be. I knew we would be. Phone's decided to be slow today. Come on. There we go. Boom. We're in business. We're all in business now. Let's go. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the GTA 5 live streams. Um, these ones not as viewed as the older ones. These ones have not yet reached, I think, over... But our biggest is 92. 92, 75, 71, 33. I'm banking that on the fact that it's most likely down to... GTA 5 being overly saturated. Like, when you type in GTA Vice City, GTA San Andreas... It's less, it's less likely you're going to come into contact with one of those titles compared to coming into contact with, obviously, GTA 5. If you type GTA 5 into the YouTube search bar, you're going to get flooded with more popular creators, bigger creators. That's just how the YouTube algorithm works these days. Um, anything that's overly saturated, like a Call of Duty or a Grand Theft, or Grand Theft Auto 5, obviously being the current one, it's, it's oversaturated, so if a content creator is trying to grow, my biggest advice to you is don't cover a mainstream game um, full-time. Obviously, cover a more sub-genre version or a, a lower-down version of a different game. An indie game is a good place to start, something like that. Uh, or little samples of different content because it's, it's flooded with obviously what's popular and what's the most dominant and what's the most dominant right now in rockstar games it's the world of gta 5 we're all massively waiting for gta 6 gta 5 is the only place to wait until we see some gta 6 content so obviously you guys who are out there small time content creators trying to grow your channel you know channel trying to grow your industry if you're covering games like call of duty or gta 5 you're gonna struggle uh, because those are overly saturated like if you go on twitch for example millions of people are streaming call of duty millions of people at the moment are doing hell divers and things like that so those games are going to be sadly more saturated um for, for people to try and get in on the ground level and cover which obviously sucks we don't want that we like it when content creators can come in and play whatever games they want to play in order to get a bit of content out of it obviously that's not always the case unfortunately there are times in which we have to play games that are less popular because our channels are less popular and that's the only way we can kind of be discovered and found um so to speak so at the moment gta 5 content is very hit and miss if i can pull 100 views on a gta 5 video i'm very grateful and i'm very lucky for that uh, sometimes that's not always necessarily the case and sometimes I have to play an older game if I want to get more views, etc. So we're back playing GTA 5, and we are going to see it through to its completion. And I am been I have been made aware that, funny enough, I have been made aware that GTA, if we get GTA 5 fully finished. If we can get GTA 5 fully finished before, when is the date? Well, it's the 26th today. So, it's the 26th today, and we look at the calendar. 
If we hey, can get it done in the next peace. one, two, three, four, five. We have five days to try and get GTA 5 done. If we can get GTA 5 done in those five days, we are going to be on the way to getting every single Grand Theft Auto game finished in one month. The month of March. Because we started Taxi. GTA 3 on March 7th, I believe. So, hey, my man, where are you going? very possibly, very possibly, we could complete GTA, hey, our GTA series in one month. Which, I don't know what the record is. I don't know what kind of speed records are out there or speed run records are out there. But, hey, if I can complete GTA 5 in the next five days, I will have completed every single Grand Theft Auto game within one month which is kind of insane not gonna lie that is kind of mad um to, to even possibly get that far so i'll be i'd be chuffed with that if we can get that done that would be pretty damn cool but we will just have to uh wait and see i guess i'm, I'm hoping that's what we can get done i mean that would be pretty awesome to be able to uh get that achievement little personal milestone and it would fit very nicely because after easter i mean we're gonna have to have like a channel video where we sit down and discuss it uh but after easter there's gonna be a few little changes to my personal life so after the easter break so i kind of it would be nice to go into easter with finishing the big series project of all the grand theft auto games being finished and then obviously I can work on doing edits and things like that and review maybe reviewing them. That would be quite cool. If I downloaded clips from the live streams and I kind of did like, like a little review of the GTA 3 game and Vice City, San Andreas, GTA 4, etc. I think that would be, be pretty oh, cool. I, gotta school your ass. I think that would be pretty cool. So I guess it would just be a case of waiting and seeing. But I think I could get this game finished in five days. Why is Trevor in the ocean? <laughs> Why on earth is Trevor in the sea? Why is he swimming? He has, I have the Franklin logo in the house, but where is where do, where do I go to activate it? Oh, it's here. Nice. So what have we got in the story left? We've got the Union Depository raid to do. We've got to hit the big one. And then obviously it's picking your ending. The two big events. We've done the Devlin Western. Michael's got the movie premiere he's got to do. That's the mission. I'm trying to think of the missions off the top of my head. Oh, hey. Hey. What you hey. doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real, my best friend, my homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man, but no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me, it can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Well, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar, you gotta help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. <sighs> fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you got to do. Jesus. 
that conversation is made way more intense and and sort of important knowing the future Franklin, what's up? knowing that in GTA hey, Online I mean, they end up together situation. my boy Lamar got set up I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers could you like do some computer magic and look into it is that possible at all it should be I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there uh, give me a second here uh, hold on uh, yes so what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Yeah, I remember this mission. But yeah, it's weird to see that GTA Online is the future for the single player because obviously we didn't get any single player DLC. Um, and I know there was DLC for Ballad, like the Ballad of Gay Tony and the Lost and the Damned. Um, that was two DLC story packs for GTA 4. But because that wasn't part of actual Rockstar's like, main games, I didn't play the DLCs. Obviously, we were starting the GTA 4 series on the PC, but I was running into technical difficulties with the graphics and it was looking really weird on stream, and I didn't like that. So I tried it on Xbox, and it looked much better for you guys on Xbox. Obviously, for me, it looked disgusting, but the graphics were terrible on my end, but on your end, on the stream's end, it looked really good. So I, I played it on GTA um, GTA 4 on the Xbox 360 version, but I have, it was like back, what's the word, backwards compatibility through the Xbox Series X. So at least it recorded really well. You guys got to watch it all. There was a moment in GTA 4, which if we do a review, we'll talk about it. But it was like one mission that was just bugging me out in the last stream. Uh, the finale mission, it was driving me insane. Because again, backwards compatibility. Cro the controller's getting a little bit different now. Uh, versus to the old original 360 game uh, controller. It was just like a weird button problem that was going on. And it was like threatening to not finish the game really it was like nearly gonna stop me from being able to actually see the credits roll and stuff like that so we 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 had to think about what to do and we found a workaround in the end but that was stressful um but yeah gta 5 graphically beautiful game beautiful on my end beautiful on the stream um it's a great game missions are great i think checkpoints have been done perfect you still do go back a little bit when you die on a mission, but it's nowhere near as intense as the older games where it was like right back to the original cutscene at the very start of the mission. So I'm glad about the checkpoints being changed. Obviously, we see the graphical improvements change. I'm excited to see what their plans are for the GTA 6. Um, hopefully, they keep the GTA 5 checkpoints, to keep the GTA 5 graphics and upscale them even more. Like, if it looks a little bit better than GTA 5, I'll be happy. But like at this point i think it's going to look phenomenal like it's really going to look good the biggest controversial like i tried to say in other streams we're talking about gta 6 um, especially coming up to finishing all these games we're going to be doing in-depth videos and breakdowns and even live streams talking about gta 6 but gta 6 for me has a lot of criteria it has to tick off in order for it to actually be the game we've waited 10 you know 10 plus years for the one thing i'm trying to do is not report on any rumors or things like that i'm trying to wait until rockstar gives us some concrete information to, to discuss it but then that being said rockstar are very tight-lipped they'll keep everything to their chest until they're ready to show it and that's all right too i appreciate them working hard and wanting to you know wanting to show us the best it can be why'd so, you invite this stoolie huh? i'm excited we want lamar to be rescued not sold to the feds give it a rest asswipe man what y'all two shut the fuck up now let's take a look at this place man lester said this was some type of big weed store spot this place is crawling with ballers you know now me and you we don't mind the old gang warfare but suede bucks over there <laughs> yeah. tell trevor i said bite me man i said shut up now i see the weed but where the fuck is lamar Oh shit, there you go. Oh no. Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. He runs away from the fight, I run towards it. I saw a 
few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Three, the other side from me, by the railroad. Should be possible to avoid the worst of it that way, but I won't be able to cover you. Here's where I'm making my play. I'm going right at him. Hey, I'm gonna get in position. Hey, I got a good vantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. We might stand a better chance if we come at him from two angles. Maybe. Whoa. Yeah, we'll be interested to see GTA 6, to see what they do with it and the plans and, um, and an eventual release date would be nice without a pushback. At the moment, we got excited a little bit too quick, too soon, got excited about the possibility of it being early next year. Now, from some people's rumours, it sounds like it could be, it could be now beginning of next, um, not the beginning, the end of next year, so. Let's go find it, dude. I guess we just, I guess we just have to figure out what it's gonna be, when when we know, when we know more. I guess that's what it'll be. It'll be we we know it when we know it. But that second trailer should keep fans satisfied. I really love this game though. I'm I'm so happy to have come back to it and. I had a rough start to 2024, and this has been really March has been a very therapeutic month to uh, get involved and get back my my brain getting back to being where it needs to be. And I, I owe that to the channel, and I owe that to you guys for tuning in. I keep still getting up. Lamar, where's he at? Where's my homie at? Sniper fire! Oh, now you need me. Hold there, I'll take him out. before they turn you into wood chip. Oh, crazy dude. Hey, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah get up. Let's go. Come on, guys. They're here in force. You gotta move. Oh, Frank's here too. Hey, Frank, you thought he came by himself? Come on, man. If we go out this, this way, Mike will be able to cover. Here come the rest of them, motherfuckers. Get out of there! I only got so many bullets!
Straight, homie. Bitches got the jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or get killed opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga. A realist. Cause in reality, all them fools wanna clap your ass. Man, where the trust that, dog? I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit. Which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the busy. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapped. I can make sure I ain't clapped. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You show sure stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga, stress new. Everybody knew stress new. Tanisha knew stress new, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So stress sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Man, I don't know. Man, shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, 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 that shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. 
<laughs> you better check them draws, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something, you know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here to say. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, hey, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga, I mean... Thank you. I guess it's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. I was supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey, oh, flossing ass nigga. Shit. So the FIB want me to kill Trevor. The Meltdown movie premiere, let's go! Meltdown movie premiere.
Lucky, buddy. Did you find your size? I got a badass tux. Hell yeah, movie premiere time. Get in the back, Pop. Hey there. Hola. A stretch limo. Oh, that's pure class, Jim. Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? <laughs> Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here! Which makes me a movie producer's kid! Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah. You see the street's edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Oh, Get awesome. back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. <laughs> We're actually, like, properly invited. B to the I to the B. Jimmy. Read my neck rolls. Entitled. E. N. T. Uh, titled. Cause I am. Jimmy. Oh, Pop, chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man, I'm sorry. But I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said... I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. Get the fucking money, dickhead! Come on! And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought has uh, crossed my mind, I suppose. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Never... Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. So can I just have a hug? Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
the hell is she? <laughs> Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife, seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim, come on! Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit-can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right, okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. Be careful, guys. CQB style. Oh, oh, you! Ah, one of them's in with Tracy! We gotta get in there, Michael! He's in there with our girl! Mom, Dad! Oh, come on! Stop Do it! Something. Oh, 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 it's broke! Oh, baby. No! Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, 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 We're inside. Find them. Fuck them up. Shit. <laughs> You stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the building! No one leaves! Frag out! Hey, oh, my living room, you piece of shit! Trace, you just stay down, sweetie. Yeah, I guess that's it, motherfucker. No one's gonna kill you. Daddy's got this. Amanda, I think they're gone. Ah! 
Oh. Got you, you dick. Oh, oh, baby, all right. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> Get the fuck off me. I, I thought I was on that guy. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging. I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Now that's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Too close! smart and just use the car. Michael, did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not going to try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. Mr. DeSantis, good to see you. What's good? Hell yeah. Cousin Floyd says strip club objectify women, but you ain't object, you're people. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry, another few hours you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back, you too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you, all right, excuse all right, all me, right, huh? Enough! enough. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, <laughs> out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. 
We'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, uh, you've got to get some police stingers. Uh, only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from Mint? I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? You only get one chance to rob the big one. <laughs> hmm. Um, all right, uh, we're going through the wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. <laughs> okay, um, two gunmen and two drivers. The first driver will pilot one of the choppers getting you out of there. Half the gold will be in that chopper, so these better be some safe effing hands. And the second driver's in charge of the train. I don't think we need to hire someone very expensive for this. There wasn't much money in that bureau thing, you know? We gotta give them a shot. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of idiots trying your luck. Well, he's had my back on every job since I got up and running again. He deserves a shot at the big one. We'll only get one shot at this thing. Is this the shot we want to take? Yes. Great. Uh, all right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, to come at the front door? The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douchebag. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Now, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. Hey, you see that new deals and dollars they building? Shit! I asked for your number, but they took my phone. Trace? Daddy! Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy! Damn you! You dusty fucking cheapskate.
come over here if you need me. Thank you. When we gonna be finished with that mess of tunnel? I'm on a job. I'm sorry boys, I'm gonna borrow this digger. I'm gonna need it to get through a hole. Get out. Oh. Oh. oh my. Oh, oh my. Motherfucker. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> mouse. <laughs> I can see a mouse. Whoa. That's crazy. Look at the little GTA mouse. There he is, the little rat guy. Little rat guy. 
living in the sewers. Oh, he's cute. Michael. Yeah, so we got one of these uh, cutter things. What do you want me to do with it? I paid off a guard at the parking lot around from the bank. He'll open the gates for you. Okay, if you trust him. I was stuck and there was no way I'm getting out of there. Steal the drill, okay. Do the whole thing again. Whole ridiculous car chase thing. We just can't go into the sewers this time. As we learnt from last time. Unless you reversed into the sewers, of course. When are we gonna be finished with that metro tunnel? Hello? This is restricted access. Already got a wanted star on you me. Can't be here. Oh. Like.
Yeah, so we got one of these uh, cutter things. What do you want me to do with it? I paid off a guard at the parking lot around from the bank. He'll open the gates for you. Okay, if you trust him. Imagine you are a train and be a train. Get into the mind of a train. Hello. than it needed to be. All right, Lester. The drill's at the lot. Good work, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a fair amount of prep work still to do. It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Phantom Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Look out. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Idiot, Jim. Drive right into me. I can take a few beatings. front okay there's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us and if there was he would just be there to warn you he would definitely not kill you definitely would not kill you shut up troll you gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet it was a couple of comments some colorful language uh it was harassment you're the comedy writer deal with the heckle i blocked you 
You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, really? How big's his herd, huh? The size of your herd? No matter when you're a total badass psycho, you dick. Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it say? Entitled, because I am. <sighs> Horrible little troll. Dad! Dad! All right, Jim, I got you. Got my son in there. Just give him a scare, pop. Give me back my boy. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. Are you sure? Because the dude holds like a grudge, and I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look, he thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. He'll stay away. But, but I'm like his troll, Pop. Shit, but I'm like his troll, Pop. Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle to survive birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly? Enough! All right, he fucking enough. I get it. That one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times, great times. The fucking fun you have. The troll could come out of his cage. Screw you. It's sticky back here and it smells funny. Yeah, well, maybe that'll teach you to wind people up on the internet. Now get out of here.
Hey, Trevor, I need your help. Hey, Trevor, I need your help. I'm taking down that train we need for the UD, and I'm short a pilot. Fine. I think Lester arranged for the chopper to be at my airstrip. I'll go get it. Cool. Let me know when you're there, and I'll be on a headset. Stop there. I gotta tell my boss if anyone I don't know turns up. <laughs> What are you doing here? Ah. Sighting split. Well, good for you. I still ain't at this heli. Trevor, can you get here? Coming to a stop. You in the chopper? Roger that. Ready for takeoff. I'll have a little word with the conductor and unhook the couplings for you. Said you wanted a train? I got you a train, Lester. Once we've got the getaway vehicle, we're good to go. Nah, it ain't right. 
I ain't doing it. Here for the magic touch? Better than when she came in, that's for sure. I got something we can use for the getaway. I'll call you when it's in the parking garage. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Getaway cars in the garage. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. We'll meet at the strip club. If I can try and get this outfit thing right for the cutscene. And that would be pretty cool. You know how much this car costs? Man, I 
I'm drunk. But shit, I ain't getting drunker. Yo, why did he why did he kick his bike over? Of course he's on the top of a fucking mountain. It's cold up here. The cock's an ice pop. Ice cock. Pop cock. Fuck! I'm stuck at the top of a mountain and there's no way of getting down. So, fuck that shit. I'm gonna go back to being Franklin for a second. Hey, Michael, it's me, man. You doing anything? You want to hang out? Uh, yeah, cool. Good. I'll see you soon, man. Get out that ride, home. I can't believe I'm doing this. Hey man, what's up? Let's go. Good to see you, man. So? So what? What now? Look, just don't get involved, kid. It seems like I'm already involved. Well, then you're dead too. Trevor, he ain't right. I mean, we're not right, but he's really not right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm not sure I do. Well, I suggest you learn then and learn fast. Otherwise, he'll eat you. And I don't necessarily mean that metaphorically. He thinks you'll eat me. No doubt. But ask yourself why I did what I did. Was it so bad? Did I really have a choice? You ask yourself that before you make any moral judgments on me. I got something to take care of around here. Hey, you know what? I'll see you later.
I wanted all three of them to be in suits, but I don't think Trevor will be. Hey, so we ready for to get this shit cracking, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So if you actually get dressed, then maybe you will. <laughs> Trevor's in a dress. <laughs> ready for action, huh? Oh, the game already puts them into suits. Right, I'm gonna meet my guy at the bank. Gold ain't ours yet, but we are this close. Get the crew. Let's go, let's go. The game already puts them into suits. I didn't know that. <laughs> Should have remembered that, to be fair. I thought we could pick our own outfits for the cinema. Not for the cinema. For the for the, for the mission. <laughs> the boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Look at the boys rolling in. This is what it's all it's about, baby. We need Lester in the air, running comms, and managing the link up with the train. Some Rent Hood ain't gonna be able to handle logistics, T. Rent Hood? That's just one of the hats I wear. Rent a Hood? We ready to go in the tunnel. When you draw the heat in the foyer, man, give us word. Come on, McCreary. You ready to do something profoundly stupid? I work for Trevor. I'm used to it. Oh, it's Chef. It's me and Chef going in the bank. All right, man. I'm going through the vault wall. Get down! Get down on the floor! You're being robbed! Rose right there, my boy! Oh, McCrary's down here with me. Here we go. Let's do this! Holy hell. Oh, that is cool. Hey, cops will be here soon. We gotta blow these cages fast. You got some bombs to fit. Now the other. Hey, the charge is set. Let's open them up. Let's get, get back. back Woo. Cages are open. I hold them off. Get the metal where we need it for pick, pick up. Hold them back while I move it. Hey, come on. We got a lot of heat here. I've done it clean, one clean run. I went to be smart and throw a grenade because Franklin was low in health. Hey, here we go! We're inside the vault! Tried to do it clean, this didn't work. Cops ain't gonna be long, let's blow these cages while we can! Trolley's 
Stay back. Back off. I'm holding them down. Hey, T, the metal's ready to go. Where the chopper's at? Helicopter inbound. See you in a second. You know the wind. Hey, I got this one to keep next one. On the floor! On the floor! Oh, shit! Over there, dog! Look out! Look! They got the vault open! They're coming out of the bank! Oh my god, so much stuff going on. We're meeting up at the altar. Street footbridge. Yeah, yeah, over here. Come on! Federal government stooges! Guys, go. Was there another robbery? Oh, shit. Uh, uh, chopper. Down these stairs. Damn, you made it. Woo. After doing the walk in the Union Depository, man. It was a whole lot less successful than your lick, but we needed to divide attention. Woo. Ah. Don't be a hero. Oh, I lost my stamina. We will go through you. Move or get moved. Come on, this is a game to me. Get out of here. Too many cops at street level. Stay above them. Watch your knife. Another chopper. Law enforcement's doing just fine trying to kill us, so tell them not to bother. F, stay with me. Keep off the roads. Beam up to the mothership. We really need to go. Out the way. Up these stairs, man. Come on. So we need to get to the garage with the car. Oh, Michael! 
I knew that was going to happen the second he broke concentration. The second he broke concentration, I knew a stray bullet was going straight through his melon. This way, this way. We're getting up. One way or another. Four guys in the south. Bring it down. Hey, get clear. Come on. Hey, cops on the run. Kill. You take the flank. I got the front cover! Federal government stooges! Come on, let us go! Hey, keep moving! Hey, through this pass this way, on the left! Oh, take cover! Right, dog. Shit, come on. In all my days with Trevor, it's never gotten that bad. Let's go. The guy still looks pretty good. Hey, if they catch us, man, Trevor's gonna get your shit. A little heat. A little. I've got a full star wanted level on me. It's like any score, you just lose the cop. They catch us, man. We never getting out. The go-to spot for all the GTA 5 OGs. Everybody's played GTA 5 from 2013 onwards. If you're trying to lose the cops in online, in a mission, single player, whatever. You got this right. 
dive Nicole! dive underground into the bat cave hidden in the los santos area get into the open canals dive down deep and hide yourself and i can't wait to find what this spot will be in gta 6 but the amount of times i've lost a five star wanted level hiding him hiding down in this tunnel Ooh, too many times to count we gotta lose them oh we're clear i'll check on the goal Trevor, Look at him. Lester, They're on foot. Come trying in. to come down. Mikey! Mike, how you doing? T, I think we're in the clear. You doing all right? We got company! Looks like Merriweather. Get them back on the freeway and switch over to Trevor. My God! He's gone. Make up some distance, so I got a chance. Lester with an RPG is not something I thought I'd ever see. Hold it here! I'll take the shot. Taking evasive action through the wind farm. Domed. Domed. You have to fly through a fucking wind farm without being smart. All right, all right, let him go. Nice shooting. Rotate it. Get them in my firing line. Let him go. Hold it steady. Daddy's here. <laughs> we in the fray, man. Let's get these bricks on the train. Two hundred and one million dollars. Hey, I see you coming towards the train. Set the cargo down and I'll haul it to the warehouse. You're going too fast, Eddie. You can slow down. Package one is down. Come on, Eddie. Package two is down. Package two is down. We're good. Take us to the airfield. Checking the Merriweather channel. And they don't know what happened. We're clear. Ha <laughs> ha, good times. We did it! We nailed those assholes! This is a score! This is a job! Wow. You are one serious fucking buzzkill. Hey, look, man, I'm gonna get the car up out of here, all right? All right. Hey, you two, come with me. I'm gonna need some help getting the metal in storage for a few days before I can sell it. Both of us? Yes, both of you. All right, it's been a pleasure working with you. You'll get paid when we get the cash. But until then, I want you to keep it on the down low. No new cars, no vacation. No nothing! Now, come on, sugar! Yeah. Oh, fuck me. The big one. We did it, Franklin. We did it, baby. Woo! Woo! <coughs> Woo! 
my god. I'm so excited about doing the big one. I just sneezed. Twice. Two times. Jeez. Boop, boop. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. No. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns. And, and I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck you. This is the moment that defined history. Kill Trevor. Kill Michael. Death wish. That was the choice on every single player's face when it came down to the final act of GTA 5. So you've just poured all this time and effort, all of these hours into the game, and you've got to pick an option. And a good OG always picked Death Wish. So let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Franklin. Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right I'm coming. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the penultimate mission in GTA 5. This is it. This is the end. We've made it. We've. It's been a long ass haul. It's been a lot of time and effort coming, but we've finally made it to the finale. This is the last mission. The finale of GTA 5 Online. I mean, single player. <laughs> I'm thinking about what I'm doing next, and the next videos are going to obviously revolve around GTA 5 Online. But, for now, this is it. This is us. Uh, it's crazy as it sounds, as crazy as it is. This is it. We're here. And we're playing the last mission. It's, it's mental. It really is mental. I mean... 
I've done this at a perfect time to have a little bit of a GTA break. We're going to pump the brakes a little bit after we've finished this, the, the live streams of this. We've got uh, two new games. No, not two brand new games, but two new parts of gaming that I'm excited to look into next. I've got a friend who recommended me a game a way back way back when. It was called Genshin Impact. That was the game. And I streamed it to a lot of success, to be fair. Never as big as, as the, some, of the, some of the GTA streams got, but certainly a lot of people did come and watch the channel through the Genshin streams. And the, the developers of Genshin hey, Impact have made a game called um, something Star Rail, I believe it's called. And I've just downloaded that. So I'm going to do a live stream of me doing a let's play of that for the first time live. See how well that goes down. If people really like it, we'll continue it. If people don't, then at least I tried. Um, the next thing that I'm looking forward to is over, I think, April 3rd. Which is actually a day I'm traveling. But April 3rd, there's, um, Call of Duty is releasing Rebirth Island. For the for, uh, for the console and um, PC, so Rebirth Island was one of the original best Warzone maps after Verdansk, and a lot of people are hyped for it. And it's coming back April 3rd for people to try out and play. So I'm very excited to go back and try that. Um, but yeah, this is the finale the panic, of GTA, bro? baby. What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Dang. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, this angry motherfucker from the FIB, yeah. um, Devin Weston, man, you know the, um, Oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right, I say kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dog. I know, okay, but I, I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. Mm -hmm. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry in Marietta Heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better idea. Alright, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. Right. Oh, baby, this is the best part. Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. Where we going? We uh heading to the foundry place. Hey, there are other people trying to use the street. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. 
<laughs> Who wanna clap your homie? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. <laughs> Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want them clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. He's lining up, camping and shit, trying to take a shot at the big chief. Ain't that the truth. But ain't nobody pissed off as many motherfuckers as Michael and Trevor, dawg. Shit, nigga, you play big, you stand aloof. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Look, man, Michael and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at Shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Secure the building. Watch your sector. Chill, dog. You gotta wait.
tight, dog. Please, all tight. Hey, these first cars in trouble. There you go. It wouldn't be right if I didn't have to save your ass just once. Save me? Nigga, I just wanted some company. We'll get through this! I'm putting him down! Looks like we oh. did it. Shit, for now? Exactly, for now. So, what's next, huh? Are we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us? Or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know <coughs> it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, let me see. There's uh Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the uh, the guy who set up for Mark? Hmm? Stretch? We wanna throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Man, Stretch has been a liability, but 
they were gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? So we gotta get the triads, we gotta get Steve, we gotta get Devlin, we gotta Stop get... <laughs> hey, it's me, dog. You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground, Wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Tang. Wei Tang. And Franklin Pell Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man. Look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I want to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dog. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. Enterprise, main campus. All right, Ron. What's happening, Trevor? We're undergoing a transition. Oh, yeah? I think that Chinese problem might be taken care of, and there's money in the bank. Well, the O'Neills are gone, and the bikers ain't showing up again. So we're rich and at peace. Long as the forces of corporate darkness don't identify us as a threat, there's nothing to hold us back. Yeah. I guess we're all out of excuses. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Uh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. This is Los Santos. A city of celluloid. A city of scumbags. The last... Bro, I think you might be worse off than me. And this is the result. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look of what's really going on under the hood. The roller coaster signs in there. Perfect shot. I really love my car. It's 
perfect for me. Like I care. Oh my god. You are so... down killers, attacked incompetence, and taken down terror cells. And tonight, I'm in your living room. Got it. That was strong. Beautiful. Oh Beautiful. That's his name. He shot him. I dealt with hand. Oh. I dealt with hands. He's dead. Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. Who's up? I hit the boy chain. Don't worry, I'm on me. Whew, working like a well-oiled machine right now. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> that Michael one was smooth. He just drifted, put, parked the car up, long sided, climbed out, and just CQB'd everybody. <laughs> everybody was gone. They got barbecued. Hey, the old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. Uh, I'm a do fuck he is. That was him. <laughs> oh, I could have had a perfect run, but Franklin decided to not be good with explosives. Hey, the old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm going to do it now. He got it. Hey, I got out clean. You dudes ain't gonna have no more triads coming after. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho, who's next? I'm picking up Devin Weston so we can have some fun with him. Now don't worry, I won't get started till we're all together. Not properly, at least.
Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Enemy operative in the vicinity. Oh well, no point going quiet anymore. Oh, bullets. I, I just put down half your outfit Drop back in town. Ah! We're receiving fire. I'm the definition of SP. I'm the most sure suspicious guy, person guy. you'll meet. Ah, fuck off, Trevor. Where are you? You pays our salary, people. Come on. You can't hide forever. Loser. I'll find you. Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issue. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes, yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on, come on, let me out of here! Look, I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stake that will give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. I don't lose! I'm getting out of here! 
And I'm coming for you! Pipe down! This is why the people I put in my trunk are usually dead. Won't be happy if I empty a clip into the trunk. Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one on one time. What's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> you know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you. And then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring <coughs> your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin. Goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Devin. We sure he's dead. Oh! So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. But I'm done. Dun 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 dun. Boom 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 boom.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and a privilege to say we have officially completed Grand Theft Auto 5. It's an honor and a privilege to be able to take this little post-it note, which has been sat on my desk for a goddamn month, take my little green, let's get the proper pen, green pen, circle in that color, baby, and officially be able to say that at 20 past one on the 26th of March, Tom Origins completed GTA 5. And what does that mean? That means every every GTA game has been completed from GTA 3 to GTA Vice City, GTA San Andreas, and GTA 4. In one month, this guy completed all of the Grand Theft Auto games. And we're done. We smashed it. Did we complete all of the games before GTA 6? Hell yeah, we did. Have we got a lot of GTA content still left to make before GTA 6? Hell yeah, we do. But ladies and gentlemen, I am pumped, as you can see, to, to finally be able to say I've finished every single Grand Theft Auto game, and I could not be more proud. I am over the moon. And whether you've been here from the first live stream, whether you've popped in and out, I'm over the moon. Patience Tom Origins. From the office of Dr. Friedlander, client notes, highly confidential, terrifying, deluded, lonely, desperate, vain, <laughs> decisively indecisive, very grandiose, definitely mean, very mean, will probably skip out the bail, super ridiculous, super ridiculous, which is ironic, sexually judgmental about some things, lazy, and self-absorbed but needy, thinks they are a wise type who sees the bigger picture, frighteningly m mopic uh, about suffering of others, respects some property rights, not others of course, tried yoga but preferred murder, lazy, 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 likes new people or kills them, F finds finishing jobs challenging, oh but brother. And apparently that little piece of paper changes depending on your choices whilst you play the game. Who knows? But ladies and gentlemen, the Bank of Liberty City has, because it's an offshore account, the Bank of Liberty City has emailed over the earnings of the three main characters. And oh boy, we have gotten to go to the bank and view our transactions. Oh my God. We have now been given... A Liberty City bank account with 30 m m m m million dollars. 30 million 858,000. Let's go over to Franklin and see what's happening there. Over in Franklin's mansion, he'll have just been given his notification. So T's got 30 million. Franklin, how much has Franklin walked away with? Let's see. Oh, shall we see? Shall we see? Let's try and see how much money old Franklin has been given. Thirty-one million for Franklin. And let's see what Michael gets. <coughs> What does Michael you are get? You're such a selfish asshole, Dad. Seriously. Michael Rude. gets shouted at. <laughs> you, Angel. I'm sorry. Just do whatever you want. Should I put my KD ratio on my resume? Michael's got 31 million, also, and still a very dysfunctional family. <laughs> but it's fine. We'll work. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Well, my friend, we did it. Please, for the love of all that's holy, stay out of trouble. By the way, don't know if you heard, but I just signed on to be the new host of Underbelly of Paradise. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the game. That's the game.
That's the game done, ladies and gentlemen. That's us done. We're finished. Grand Theft Auto 5, you have been beautiful. I've unlocked my prologue outfit. All the outfits you get to wear along the along the journey. I I honestly can't believe it. It is insane. It's it's crazy. It is actually crazy that we've made it this far. But ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We've finished GTA 5. We've finished every single Grand Theft Auto game in one month. All of the GTA games are now finished. And now what to do next? Who knows? Who knows what, what, what are we going to do next? You guys will have to wait and see. But for Michael, Michael's got two side objectives to do. So I make some videos filming them. Two, two question mark missions for Michael. Uh, Franklin has got six question mark missions and Trevor has got nine question mark missions so still a lot of content left um, probably not gonna do those on live streams maybe just do them in a video uh, make make different videos on each one of them and um, things like that that might be the idea that we go for um, I think that'd be pretty pretty cool I'm also trying to work on a theory video for GTA 6 using the information that we have in the game files and in the actual game of GTA 5 to go off. So I've got a little bit of a like conspiracy video coming out for that. So I'll uh, keep that on the on the quiet until we're onto something more concrete but I've got a little theory video that I'd like to try and make it even if it just turns out to be just a little bit of fun I think it'll be great to uh, do something along those lines there's my adder that I got he she's still there still got the Bugatti Michael Michael's car here we have Michael's car got a little theory video a little theory video in the works that I'm uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say too much about right now but one thing that I'd like to try is to try and do a meetup with Trevor and Franklin hey T it's me what's going on hey I'm bored you want to do something just love to Mikey cool I'll swing by Of course, Trevor's at the gun store. Because I know they have like dialogue when you get them all together. Hey, Frank, I'm supposed to be meeting Trevor and I need a little moral support. Sounds good to me, homie. Great, I'm on my way. I can try and pick everybody up and get them all together. Donald Percival. Let's roll. My friends, we haven't met you both, but buddies. Good to hang out, my brother. Oh, we did it, T. <laughs> Woo! I know. Biggest score in American history. You and me and the kid and the creep. Incredible. <laughs> the big one. We did it. Uh, the big one. We're not two-bit hoods anymore. We, oh, we, we did it.
man. Let's go. Hey, it's Lester. I don't listen to my messages, but I probably listen to yours. Do with that as you will. Hey, what's up, homies? We gonna do this? Hell yeah. I got the use of this driving thing. Oh shit. Hey, we lost them. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh! Bah, crawl. Bah, crawl. Pub crawl with the boys. Pub crawl with the boys. Hey, we should like drop the married dude off and just like do some single dude shit. Stay. Don't you worry about me. Oh, I'm worried about him. Frank, you worried? I like the dude, but do I trust him? I don't know. He ain't got a great record for trust. Oh, that's a good point. Good. Let's get rid of him. Let's think for his family, for us, and above all, for him. Hey, screw up both of you. You don't want me here? I'll walk. I'm sick of getting g ganged up on anyone. <laughs> now he's in the mood. I guess he's gotta stay. I told you we should have waited till his ass was in the can and just booted. Yeah, next time. Uh, assholes. Good hanging out, gents. Just like old times, Mikey. For real, man. See you soon. But yeah, crazy times. Amanda, it's me. So, you want to try to... Reconnect? Oh, there you are. Yes, of course I want to see you. Great. I'll be there soon. Can actually do some more of the free roaming stuff now and the world building stuff. I was mission focused for so long and I've got all the side objectives to do and all like the little behind the scenes. Like, I might go around and try and collect everything. I might go around and do all that type of stuff. But, yeah, I can't believe I finished GTA 5. Every GTA game finished in the month of March, baby. And how fitting would it be that if in March 2025, we got to see GTA 6. I mean, might be too good to be true, but that's my hope. March 2025, that's what I'm hoping for. Let's go. 
Well, you seem well, Michael. It's good to spend some time together. It really is. You know, I did a lot of thinking while you were away, I mean. Sounds ominous. No, not at all. I just really wanted to make a, a go of things, you know, as best we can. Me too. So, no more affairs for either of us, please? You started it. I know, I know. I, I, I treated you badly. I, I see that. I'm just, I... Say it. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm an asshole. You deserve better than me. Well, that's certainly true. Give me a tennis match. Come on. Let's play tennis. <coughs> For high bounce and short of short short of light time, press B. X. This is very confusing. This is gonna be so much fun. Killing can't be your only hobby. Oh, shit. That'll be faster than that, Michael. Come on. Okay, okay, Amanda. The fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Michael being Michael. Oh god. Oh god. Uh. Yes. Yes. Not bad for a fat old fool like me. <laughs> Not bad for a fat old fool like me. Oh, it's oh, short of perfect. It's all okay. Oh. No. Oh. My god. Come on. Come on, we gotta beat the way. We gotta, we gotta win the wife at tennis. Come on here. Come on here now. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on now. Oh. Come on now. Oh. Come on now. Oh, no. Oh, my, my. my. That's where the money went. I'm out there. She's bashing me. She's bashing me at tennis. Oh, it's perfect. Go on, X, X, backspin it. Oh, 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 a little too short there. A little rally going here. Jesus, mind my heart, please. Oh my God, she's good. She's good. Side change, okay. Getting arrested for playing tennis. Man, that is fucking useless. What? I didn't win a point for that. Look at that. Look at that. <coughs> Come on now, baby. Oh, that hurt. Yes! Oh my god, you suck at this! <laughs> Michael! Michael, that's not how we speak! Michael and Amanda completely not competitive at all. No! Shit! Oh, she said shit, so that's good. I don't know how tennis works. Come on. Come on then. Come on in, Amanda. 
Ugh. Smoke there. Smoke her. Give the old bat fist. Beautiful. I'm beautiful now. Come on now. Jesus, will you fuck up, please? No! I want to watch you wobble. You son of a bitch. <laughs> No! Unplayable! Ugh, you bitch. She beat me. You're looking great! Deuce. I should play without contact more often. Yes. Yes, advantage. Nice! Nice! I'm ready. I'm ready for you. Ready? Ready? Well, at least I hope you learned something. Come on, Michael, you got this. Here comes the bullet, baby. Perfect shot. I've got Uh oh. What is wrong with me? Amanda! Did you just miss? <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to mess you up like that, Amanda. Ready? So straight down the center. Perfect, Steam. I ain't gonna mess up. I ain't gonna mess up. What? Okay. I, oh, wait. Did I win a point for that? Oh, per that's perfect, sir. Backspin. Exit. What? Okay. Let's go. Oh. Candy. Come on, Michael. Come on, Michael. Side change again. Se what? Uh, I was, how, how do I win? I'm Unplayable. Take a look at that. <laughs> yeah, baby. My God, you sad and desperate. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> chill out, bro. Come on, come on. Aced. What does aced mean? Right, come on. Hitting balls at you is really therapeutic. Uh oh. Come on. No pressure. You're Michael's, bound to lose either way. Michael's on point break. It's time. It's, coming. it's time to win. Come on, Michael. Come on, baby. Come on, boy. Uh, you might want to step back just a little bit. Oh, baby. For a fat old fool like me. 
not bad for a fat old fool like me. Oh, I'd hate to be on the receiving end of this bad boy. Perfect. Straight down the middle. Quick back at it. Good little rally. Boom. Boom. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect match today. Perfect match. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Game point. It's Michael's to lose. Come on, Michael. Send her home. Country road. Ugh. Oh, no. I don't think so. Oh, I don't think so. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. No. Another few points. No. Well, at least I hope you learned something. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Side change again. Can someone tell me how many rounds is in one set? Why are we playing one set of tennis? She's fucked me twice doing that. I'm not pressing B ever again. B fucks me up. Backspin it. Backspin it. No! She's fucking me up! Oh my god! This one's got ace written all over it. I'm on the wrong side, I'm on the wrong side. It's not my court. This is not my court. That's not my side. This is just not my side. This is just not my side. Yes. Finally, a point one, Jesus Christ. Not bad. Not bad. Now we're back in the game. Come on, Michael. Perfect. Missed. Oh. Ooh. Come on. Da 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 da. Perfect. Like a fucking anime. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit. Yes, baby! Advantage! Come on, Michael. Bring that straight down the middle, Mike. Straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. Now, come on, Michael. And it's good. And we're on. We're off to the races. No! Oh, you bitch. Fuck off. <laughs> this is actually so intense. Why is it so intense? Yes! 
Yoshi. All right, let's do this thing. Right down the middle. Come on, Michael. Let's get douche. Oh yeah! Uh, uh, uh. What was that? Bullshit is what that was. Jesus, will you fuck up, please? Yes. Douche. Not bad for a fat, fat old oh, man. Quiet on me, baby. It's not sex. Yo, Michael. No! This is the biggest, the biggest intensity between these two right now. It's insane. Oh, he's lost. He's lost. He's lost. Side change! Side change! Catch her on. Ah! Come on. Come on. Fuck you! Fuck off! I've not built up a fall win streak to lose. I'm better than this. Second serve. Come on, Amanda. Don't. Top. Top spin. Drop shot. Let's have a rally this time. Shut up. She's too fast. No! Wow. Oh, I'm feeling good about this one. This has got to be it. Match point, surely. Yes. Clean win. Clean win. Point one. Point one. Come on. Come on. One more. One more, just like that, Michael. Come on. Perfect. Shit. Alright, fuck her up, Michael. Come on. Perf that's perfect. What's the point? Shut mine. Game point. Game point, baby. Game point, baby. Right down the middle. We're going to fire her right down the center. It's perfect. It's perfect. That's a perfect one. Straight back at her. Straight back to her. She gonna hit it. She gonna, she gonna get that. You ain't gonna get that one, baby! Woo! Change sides again. How long's a game of tennis? Can someone tell me? Oh my god! Come on. Look at that. Come on.
That's painful. We nearly had a clean game. Michael's caught tennis. Let's go. Oh, shit. I can't believe you won. I can. That was great. You gonna drop me or are we gonna do something else? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Those are some violent sneezes. Whoa, too close. We'll go drinking some other time. Okay, baby, this is it. That was really fun, darling. Let's do this again. Yay. Michael and his wife have got a good relationship. That's nice to see. Oh. That guy's been speeding. Yourself. Oh, but of course. And how are the kids? They're good. I actually mean that. Amanda, too. How's work? Work? Ah, it's fine. Better than fine. It's good. Had a few lucky breaks. Look after yourself, Mike. You too, Davey. You too. I've been telling chicks that hybrids aren't carbon neutral enough. I'm still alive, in case you're wondering. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is where this live stream officially comes to an end. We got a nice little resolve there with the fam. Michael and Amanda are okay. Trevor, Franklin, and Michael are all right. The boys are good. I'm going to make a few videos, possibly even a couple of live streams about the aftermath, what we can do after we complete GTA 5, um, a little live stream idea, a few little video ideas here and there. But whatever you see on the channel, please go and throw it some love. Please go give it some support because honestly, without you guys, this channel wouldn't be where it is. I couldn't do the channel without the help and support of you guys. So thank you for being here every step of the way. And uh, if you have tuned into any of the live streams, thank you very much. Thank you for being legends and I'll see you in the next one. I'm really pleased that we can actually sit here and say that we have officially wrapped our GTA 5 bucket list and our GTA bucket list. There's a playlist you guys can find on the channel. Um, it's called Playing Grand Theft Auto. Playing Grand Theft Auto games before GTA 6 or something like that. It's called, oh yeah, Playing All GTA Games Before GTA 6. Um, it's a playlist. It's got 18, over 18 videos in it right now. You guys can check it out. There's, you know, over 50 hours of content here. You guys check that out. Um, you'll see everything from GTA 3 all the way to the last GTA 5 stream we've just done. So thank you for watching and loving and supporting and doing all the good stuff. Um, I like making content. It's been my dream job since I was a little kid. Um, and I, I will still be making content in the future as much as I can. Um, as far as um, my stuff goes at the moment, I had a job at the start of the year. Um, it wasn't treating me very well. It was making me feel very mentally damaging to myself and... I was feeling very low, I wasn't healthy, I wasn't looking after my brain, I wasn't looking after my body, I wasn't looking after my health. And in the end of the day, I sacrificed wealth for health and well-being, and that's always a better sacrifice. And I, I laid low, and I worked hard and grafted the content creating side of stuff um, throughout February, the rest of February, and the, the rest of March, and 
it's crazy that now we are finished. Um, this this series, for example, is is all wrapped up and all good. So uh, thank you for watching and being legends, and I'll see you in the next one.